Hey everyone. Hello. We are headed out for another adventure. Woo! Quarantine we're, adventures. We're gonna go pick up some beer and have our own little beer tasting here at home. So we'll have a whole little bar set up later. Oh yeah. We'll do our little tasting glasses, tell you what we think, and there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you owe me a beer. Oh good, we're getting a bunch. Okay. folks, Bayberry Beer Hall. Oh. The biggest, the biggest dip of all time. I just have to go across the street to grab it. Look at the trees in bloom, so pretty. Day. Thank you. Have a good one. We got it. <laughs> All set. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We got some brews. We're ready to roll. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to the bar that we made in our house because we can't go to bars because it's the quarantine. So as we said, we bought some beers today and we're going to do a little bit of a beer tasting because that seems appropriate. So off we go. Here are the beers. First, we have the Bissell Brothers Lucent, and we will go through and kind of explain each of them a little bit more detail as we taste them. Yes. Uh, this one is Banded Brewing Company, Charms and Hexes. The third one is Widowmaker, Drowning in Drip. Woo the fourth one is Proclamation Ale Company, Strasberries. Oh, I think it's Ooh Strasberries. The fifth one uh, and sixth one are both uh, cider options. Yes, they allow dogs at this bar, by yes, the way. Yes, yes, they do. Yeah, of course they do. She's currently walking around. No leash laws either here, which is pretty cool. So. Yeah, it's just free reign. One dog at a time, unfortunately. Number five is Cider Creek, Cran Mango Saison, um, and Cloud City Graft Cider. So, uh, yeah. Here we go, let's give it a shot. All right, so number one, we're gonna try is the Bissell Brothers Lucent. Now, uh, Bissell Brothers is located in Portland, Maine. I have, in fact, been to this brewery once before, and it's awesome, love it in there. Definitely check it out if you're in Portland, Maine. Um, so this is a German Hell's style ale. It has a 4.9% ABV um, and it makes a full bodied, light colored pale lager that tastes biscuity, lemony, and leans more towards the multi side of things with a dry finish on the palate. I mean, oh. Subtlety in a glass. Woo! And apparently it says that it has their employees clamoring for tasting pour straight from the tank. So, we'll give it a, a shot. I don't think I've ever had a Hell's Lager. I have. All Hell's. All Hell's break loose. That's a good way to start this off then, kids. I'm just gonna start with a little bit. It's got like kind of an, like a really pretty like. Ooh, that's a perfect. Pea color. Gah, oh, Maggie really ruined that. <laughs> Looks like ginger ale. Oh, my ginger ale is a lot lighter than that. My ginger ale is a lot lighter than that. So. That's a good look at it. And there it is. Ooh, God, I can see you through that glass. Oh. Your eye looks huge. 
Weird. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's really easy to drink. Yeah, I really like that one a lot, actually. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. It is super crisp. It's super easy to drink. It's very refreshing. Like, this could be an easy summer beer. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can really just taste the ingredients, I guess. But, no, this is really good. Um, I think this is only, like, the, the second or third Hell's Lager I've ever had, so... I like this a lot. I recommend it so far. Let's see what Max thinks. Hey. Cheers. I only took a little sip because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It's good. Like, I'm not normally a fan of <laughs> lagers. Um, they're just not my style most of the time. Um, but. <laughs> I do like it. It is very simple and like very easy to drink. This would be like a good summer beer and one that I think that I could like continue to drink without it getting like too much and be like a little Like it's not, it's not sweet. It's not overly IPA like. No, no, not at all. Which is how I describe hops by the way. So if anyone's wondering why I just said that in reference to a lager, that's how I describe hops. Man, the dogs are loud here. I'm so sorry. But these lights, look at how romantic they are with all our pots and pans. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. So. Cheers. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'd give it a solid, like... I'm like a 7 out of 10. Oh, out of 10? I thought we were wrong. Oh, if we're going, if we're going fives, then it's like a 3... Like an untapped... Stuff. Then I'll say it's like a 3.5 for me. Yeah. I'd say it's like... I'd say it's like a 3 for me. Just because I don't personally like them, but like, as far as this style which I've never had before, like, then I'd probably give it like a three and a half to four. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, snap. All right. Back in the house. We are on to beer numero dos. dos. So we have the Widowmaker Drowning in Drip. Yes. This, my friends, is a fruited IPA with tangerine. This is from Braintree, Massachusetts. Which is right outside of Boston. Yes, it is. If you've ever been there, it's a lot of fun. This is my first Widowmaker beer. I'm very excited for this, and I love the art. Um, this is a 6.8 ABV, so that's fun. It's actually not that bad. That's pretty, pretty standard around these parts, I guess. Usually, like, 6 to 7 is pretty good for New England, so. Here we go. That is, it I almost looks love like the it. downy cider. A little bit. Do you want the rest or do you just want to splash again? Um, pour it in there. You know you'll just finish it for me yeah. if uh if I don't drink it. That's accurate. Fantastic color on this. Look at that bubbly. That is gorgeous. Let me give this a sniff. Ooh. That is a great smell to it. You can actually really smell the tangerine, which is awesome. That's delicious. Oh man, that's really good. That's super, super smooth. What would you give it? Um, let me get another sip, hold on. You can give it a minute. You can think about it. So let me start with my classic. I would get this again, 100% would get this again. I think I'm going somewhere between a 4.25 and a 4.5. Okay, cool. Really super, super good. Definitely smells hoppy, but the fruit kind of overpowers that enough that it's not like, oh good. I don't think you're gonna find it super, super hoppy either. That's good. I think it's delicious. At first you think it's gonna be like, ooh, like way too much, like too much citrus and hops like combined. But yeah, it kind of mellows out and you get that more like subtle, like 
sweet tangerine flavor, so I like it. I would you it get it again though? Like if this was at a bar and they were like, hey, we have Widowmaker and that's it, would you get it? Yeah, I wouldn't be like, no, not this beer. But like, there's other things I like better, but like it's Fair. definitely good. I feel like I'm very just generous with my beer ratings. I always am. I know, you love beer. I love so. beer. What would you rate it out of five? Um, like a 4.25, I think. Ooh, we're in the same ballpark. That's nice. Yeah. Great. Oh, look, our friends are ready to join us. Oh, Just mess that notification up. So, our friends are going to join us at the bar. We'll uh, catch you again soon. Cheers to that. All right, here we are with option number three. We got Cloud City, Ooh. Graft Cider. I think it's called Amber City, actually. I don't know. It says Amber City on the back, so I'll look at the action. We'll go with Amber City. Yeah. But anyway, it is a passion fruit guava dreamsicle cider. <laughs> so that sounded pretty dang great. Yeah. Um, we like ciders around here. It did have the ABV on here somewhere. 6.9, I believe. I think so. I think it's under that label somewhere. Maybe at the bottom? No, that says carbs and stuff. <laughs> Classic. It's better at carb. <laughs> 6 percent Great. So it's a hefty it's a hefty so, cider. Craft Cider is the company. So maybe Cloud City is the name of the the cider. That but makes more sense. I wonder what Amber City is then. I don't know. Cloud Graft, answer for your transgressions. Oh my god, that smells crazy. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's get the pour. Oh. Ooh, that color. Look at that. It's like a nice, like, peachy pink color. Yeah. Oh my god, it smells like the beach. Like, like a beachy cocktail. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. And we're using our wonderful little mini coasters from Food and Wine Fest last mm -hmm. year. As soon as I focus, there it is. You can see them right there. They're very nice. I'm getting shortchanged. That's because you've had a lot of the beers. <laughs> oh, Megan. You can have some more. That's all right. So it kind of looks like a sunset. Yeah, there you go. Hang on, let me get it. I think it. maybe you needed to shake it. Put this up in a light. a little bit more like sedimenty. But yeah, it looks nice fine. though. It's a nice color. So cheers, darling. Cheers. Let me try mine first. Mm. Ooh. It's more tart than I thought it would be. Oh. But like in a good way. So like, it's got like a really sweet fruity flavor. Okay. But it's also like super tart at the same time. Oh, interesting. It like chills out and then it just kind of leaves like almost like a Starburst flavor in your mouth afterwards. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's really crazy. Like, I really, really love this. Would you drink it again? Oh, yeah. I think it's definitely, it's very drinkable. It's not super smooth. It is, like I said, more tart and, like, a little bit dry on your tongue. Um, Out of five. I would give it, like, I have to keep drinking it, but I think somewhere between, like, a 4.5, 4.75. Oh, wow. It's really good. Like, it's very high. I tend to like ciders that are a little bit sweeter, but I think it's different enough that, like, I would definitely, if I saw this on a menu, be like, yeah, I'll get that. Oh, nice. So. Oh, that does have a crazy smell. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. It is tart, but I actually really like tart ciders, which is weird because I'm not a huge, huge fan of sours. Which is kind of like, this is like an early sour, if I may. Yeah. Mmm. Ooh. Actually, this is like a perfect summer cider. Yeah, this is really fantastic. So here's the thing. It goes, it starts really tart. And then it goes down wildly smooth. And you get a lot of the, the fruity taste that's not necessarily cider afterwards. I'll probably put this at a 4.5 out of 5. I think this is really good. It's super drinkable. The tart actually adds a great aspect to it, so I would get this again in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Sick. So there you go. This thing. Cloud City. Fourth 
on the list. We have the proclamation, strasberries. I think it's ooh, strasberries. Ooh, strasberries. Is that better? Yeah. Great. This is a sour ale with strawberries, raspberries, and lactose. And similar to the um, the graft cider we had, this is actually also 6.9 ABV. Where's it from? Where's it from? This is from very close to us. This is from Warwick, Rhode Island. Yeah. Yeah, local boy, an actual local boy, which is nice. Yeah, and by the way, the last one we definitely did not say where it was from. It's from New York. Yes. Somewhere in like upstate, I think. And we also took a little bit of a snack break. Well... We made snacks, corn dog nugs, in honor of Casey's Corner. We miss you. We love you. Come back soon. They sell them at Target. Yeah, I know. All right, here we go. Here's the pour. Ooh. Pretty color. Ooh. I'm going to give you a pour as well. There you go, darling. Mm. Right? It smells really good. Smells like jelly. I know, I like it. All right, here we go. I'm not a huge fan of sours, disclaimer. So I may hate this, I may love it. I don't know yet. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's not sour at all. Barely tastes sour. But the strawberries are absolutely delicious in this, and the lactose really makes it for me because it has like a more, it's a little bit sweeter, it doesn't go down as harsh. It's super easy to drink. Like, I could drink this in the summer all the time. It's really, really good. Um, I'd probably give it... We don't have our music on. Oh, no. I turned the music off. Sorry. Um, regardless, I'm going to give it... I'll give it a 4.25 out of 5. Really good. Really like it. Kind of reminds me of strawberry ice cream, actually. My wife. It does. It smells like... I don't know, like something I've definitely had before. Okay. Ooh. Right? Yeah. It's not sour at all. No. It tastes like, I don't know, it's really good though. I do like the lactose. It makes it a lot smoother. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I don't, I'm drawing a blank. I don't know what it tastes like. It's almost like a... Like a sorbet, kind of? Ah, that's kind of why I said ice cream. That's kind of what I was leaning towards. That's really good. And yeah. It smells delicious. It tastes good. Mm. It's really, really good. I like this one a lot. I like it a lot more than I ever thought I would. Yeah. It's very, yeah. It, you can definitely, like, tell that it's a sour, but it's super, super drinkable. What do you... I love that it's, like, super cold, too. What's your rating? Um... Because I actually feel like mine could be higher. I feel under like the circumstances. I feel like it's like close to a five. Yeah, it's up there for me. Like it's I, really friggin' good. I'm like, gonna amend. I'm gonna amend four point two five to four point seven five. Wow. Shut up. I, I, there's a memory there. Like I'm trying to get it and I can't remember. Oh frick! It'll come to me. It will. I know it's there. Like this, I've I've tasted something like this before. It's so good. Booberry. No, it's not. Damn it. I think it was a beer. Booberry isn't a beer. It's a cereal. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then Frankenberry or Count Chocula. Yeah, I don't know. I can't place it. I need to drink it more. It tastes like one of those Flintstone push pops. <gasps> I'm pretty sure that's what I'm tasting no right way. now. It's that creaminess that's not quite ice cream, but it's fruity flavored. You're on the right track with it. I'm pretty sure. So, we'll go, go with that. It. It's delicious <laughs> if you can get it by any means. Proclamation, fantastic brewery out of Warwick. Let us know. We can mail it to you. Ooh. We'll let you know for sure. All right. Beer five. Branded Brewing Company. Charms and Hexes. Woo woo! This is a sour ale with sour cherries and mangoes. That's exciting. And it is brewed in the Pepperell Mill in Biddeford, Maine. Guess so. Somewhere in Maine. Five point two percent alcohol. It also uh, has um, Saco or Saco River water. So Saco. It is Saco. Saco. Okay. So uh, another sour. 
Last one we determined by far our favorite. Yeah. So friggin' good. Definitely gonna go buy some more. With so far second drowning in drip for me. Oh. Smells great. What? I don't know. It smells like that river water. Definitely has that like mangoey cherry look. Yeah. Almost a flavor, not color, look. It's like that kind of orangey, peachy. Yeah. Yeah. It almost looks like a cider. It's very clear. Yeah, I'm shocked how clear that is, to be honest with you. Wow, right, get at it. Yeah. Not fishy, but. Not getting at it first. What? No, I'm pumping. I'm pumping. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing that either. That's pretty even. Even Steven. <laughs> they won't copyright me because that was fabulous. Beers. Cheers. It's actually lighter than I thought it would be. Definitely more sour than the last one, but still not like a mild sour. Like not warhead. Like. Ugh! When you drink a sour, I love when that happens, but like... I don't. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. The mango and cherry go really well together. It's okay. like not too sweet. I like when it has that almost like sea salty taste to it, and that's probably what I was smelling. And it kind of has that almost. Close. Can I try and see what you think? I'd, I'd give it like a good 4.5. Wow, that's Maybe. more than I thought you were going to say. It does smell weird. You're right. It does smell strange. Definitely more sour than the Proclamation. Well, very mild. Yep, you're right with that. I taste a lot of cherry, not a lot of mango. Um, the mango, I think, adds that kind of more mellow sweetness to it. Yeah. Because cherries like can be sweet, but a sour cherry is not. Like I would probably get it again, but I probably won't have more than one. I'd probably say this is maybe like another three and a half for me. Wow, that's low. I know. I'm just I just don't like sours as much as you. Yeah. I know we got a lot of sours tonight. I know. But like that proclamation, it kind of overshadowed this to me. So which I think was kind of a mistake. Like I feel like if I had this first I might have rated it higher. I think it's really like refreshing. But that's just me with sours. That's fair. We no, didn't have our fair. music again. Nope. We're slacking on the music. We've just been watching TikToks and YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to In quarantine. between beers. I definitely thought you were saying something else. I don't know what you thought I was saying. Something we'll say off camera. Oh, no, we're not doing that. Um, nice job, Bayberry. Way to get good beers on in cans. Yeah, everybody. the other day they had... Um, some stuff from the alchemist in vermont and i tried to get it but it was already sold out within like two hours yeah if you've had the alchemist you're gonna want heady topper it's, they had one other one too it's a fantastic ipa like really top two um with my number one being lunch but. and sometimes they have trillium which is really hard they don't like they get a lot of breweries that don't distribute yeah trillium you can really only get on tap or their cans are really in their store or um at their brew houses but same with like bissell brothers like i don't know if they distribute anywhere and like they get a lot of um stuff from uh we've seen a bissell brothers at haxton's have we yeah last time we oh, were there that's right yeah i think it was actually this one too it might have been it looks like a similar can but but anyway they get a lot of ones that don't distribute at all or very little yeah like a lot of these beers keep in mind like they come to new england and new york and not too many other places so if you can get them and you have the opportunity to please do yeah i think there's like some beer trading groups yeah that like will go buy their beers and like do meetups obviously right now you can't do that but and i don't know if you're technically supposed to mail beer uh it's been done before i thought um one of my friends. It's all been done. Yeah, one of my friends. Mabel. Who was who sang that one? Was that a a bare naked lady song? I met you before the fall of Rome. Yes. That one. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And I begged you to let me take you home. Great. You were wrong. 
I was right. You said goodbye. It's a good night. Ooh hoo hoo. It's all been done. Boo -doo 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 -doo. That is very naked, ladies. <laughs> Regardless, I'm gonna keep drinking this. We'll see you on the last beer. Well, hello. Oh, we made it to the end. End of the night. It's been a struggle. <laughs> no. It's been fun. Uh, Thanks for joining us on this crazy ride. However, we have one left. We do. And uh, also, this place turned the music back on. What's with that? Crazy. Cool. Some cool tunes up in this beast. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Right? All right. <clears throat> so. Last but not least, Cider Creek. Hard cider. Yummy. Well, I don't know if it's yummy. Meg does. Uh, this is a Cran Mango Saison. And, like everything else tonight, this is also 6.9% ABV. I'm excited for this one. Okay, it's got a good smell. Glug. Dude, that's my favorite one. You got half left. No, so like, yay. no way. Yeah. Mm -mm. You're a liar. Pour it in mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet it's not even close. <laughs> Whoops. And mine is a smaller width. You want to switch? I want my glass. Bye-bye, bucko. It's very light. Mmm. It's very light. You get a nice, crisp mango taste. Mmm. I'm gonna drink this again in a heartbeat. Now you know why it's my favorite. <laughs> I know. It's got a good summery taste to it, like good by the fire Wh at night. Where's the brewery from? Oh my god, where are you from? Cider Creek. Made in New York. New York! But it's good, I'll drink it again. Hello. I'm, I've been taking my sweater on and off as we've been drinking. We had the window open. We now did, it's we, closed. We asked them to open the window. Oh yeah. And then asked They said them do to it yourself. It. Yeah, but we asked too many times. We gotta <clears> do it ourselves. Yeah. So, uh, but now it's back on, but it's gonna come back off soon. Cause I get warm when I drink. And it's almost bedtime. Mm. Oh, gives me the tingles. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> I mean, I know I already give it a five. Oh, okay, perfect. I just love this one. Yay. But we got it cause this is like the only place I can find it. And I've never had it, and I wanted to try I've it. I've looked everywhere. Like, actually everywhere. Not mm -hmm. not actually everywhere. Like, I've looked at, like, two places. It's everywhere in Rhode Island. But they're finally letting you take out the cans. I and thought that, that was going so over. so happy. They should do it forever. That's actually one of the benefits now of, like... It's kind of the only benefit. This stuff is, like, <clears throat> you get the cans. I mean, this bar we're at... They got good stuff. They got here. good. We did no taps tonight. No ball no cans. No taps were done. Yep. Done. Done taps. Shut it so, down. So, uh, <clears throat> I mean, factoring that one out because I already knew I went to that one, so that's kind of like unfair. I went the. Oops. Oops. <laughs> good thing it's empty. Empty. Oh, God. I keep dipping it away. This ooh, strays, berries. Ooh. During the break here, kids. Well, in between our boozins, I definitely went and ordered some of this. I'm gonna go pick it up. This is my nodding and approval. Because it was so freaking delicious. It was really good. Definitely go buy this if you are able to access it. I don't know where they would have it. But yeah, I honestly. Come visit us. Yeah, come visit Rhode Island. We have good breweries here. We do. We'll try to do. We should try to. Do a video of just Rhode Island beers. We were gonna, but like, we so were gonna drive good. around to like all the breweries and get stuff. But, like, <clears throat> but we're in quarantine. We, so we just picked one place that had like a variety. It was like mostly New England and New York. So there you go. We did it, guys. All six beers and ciders. Two, two of them are ciders. <laughs>
So we'll, uh, we're gonna finish. Magic Ooh, great. We're gonna finish our drinks and thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Well, well, welcome. <laughs> welcome home. <laughs> I meant to say thanks for joining our bar. Uh, thanks for coming. It's nameless. It's new. It's a, it's a test. I was gonna say kitchen, but it's beer, so maybe it's a test. Bitchin! <sighs> this is... <sighs> but booze, booze and beer. Beer, Ugh, beer and booze. This is bad. Bitchin. Just unnamed kitchen. Boochin. Sure, whatever. That, then they carry the booch, too. I think we have one in, in the fridge. There's one in the fridge. There yeah. she is, getting off the couch. Bye. The dog again. Come, come to our bar next time. It's cool. Yeah, we got a cool spot. We got lights. We got lights. We got lights. I think that's what he likes like eight times. Oh, you got him again. We got lights. We got the lights. Like every cool brewery has lights. We got the cool jams. We got like industrial stuff. Like mm -hmm. our tables, like wood and stuff. With like marks on it. And Evans on it. <sighs> Boo. <laughs> Either way, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging with us. We don't know how to end these. Okay, bye. Bye.